And we have a letter from Louise Slaughter. She was unable to come, but we do have a letter from her that we're going to read at this present time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Yeah, okay. So, what's your name? My name's Alan. Alan, I'm Kyle. Yeah. Yesterday, uh, Monday, when I contacted. Congresswoman Slaughter's office, I asked if she or a member of her staff were available, and they declined, but they sent me a letter to read to everyone here and for the public in general. And it's uh, addressed in Dear Mr. Schwartz and Concerned Citizens. Thank you for contacting me to express your opposition to cutting Social Security for future or current beneficiaries in any deficit reduction package. I appreciate hearing from you on this important issue. I am deeply opposed to proposed changes in how Social Security benefits are calculated through the adoption of the so-called chain Consumer Price Index, CPI. Such a chain would mean lower benefits for seniors and veterans and would break the sacred contract that we have made with the American people. The change CPI is not, as some claim, a technical tweak to reduce out of control cost of living adjustments. To the contrary, beneficiaries have gone without increases in recent years and are more often managing meager household budgets. <clears throat> With that in mind, on February 15, 2013, I joined 106 colleagues in sending a letter to President Obama urging he reject any proposed cuts to benefits millions of American families depend upon through Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. In the letter, we specifically singled out the chain CPI and raising the Medicare retirement age as policies we oppose. Social Security did not cause our budget deficit right. and should not be used as a bargaining chip in a deficit reduction deal. Woo! Rather, any reform should aim to strengthen the program for current beneficiaries and extend its long-term solvency for future generations. To that end, I am an original co-sponsor of No Loopholes in Social Security Tax Act, legislation that would benefit the 113,700 cap on income that is subject to Social Security tax. As you know, currently, all income above 113,700 is exempt from Social Security tax. Mm -hmm. The tax that appears on your paycheck as FICA, for those who are still working, and that means that 94% of Americans pay Social Security tax on all of their income. But the wealthiest 6%, those with incomes over 113,700, are exempt from doing the same. To put it another way, a school teacher making 60,000 a year pays Social Security tax on all of her income, well, Donald Trump only pays the tax on a tiny fraction of his income and his fortune. That's not fair, and it threatens the long-term solvency of Social Security. Under this bill, all income above six, uh, 250000 will be subject to a 6.2% Social Security tax. <coughs> Closing this loophole for the wealthy would make sure that Social Security can pay full benefits for the next 50 years. Social Security is a contract with the American people. A contract that says if you work hard and pay into the system, you will be able to retire with stability, economic security, and peace of mind. I will never turn my back on that contract. You can count on me to continue fighting against cuts to Social Security and continue
continue supporting legislation such as the no loopholes in Social Security tax that will strengthen Social Security for years to come. <coughs> Sincerely, Louise Slaughter, member of Congress. I, I would like to add that we're not just causing Social Security. We're also talking all veterans benefits and all retirement pay for federal workers and federal postal workers. So it's, a ma it's almost 99% of this country would be affected adversely. So I invite everybody to look at the figures on the handout of how much it would cost and consider that over 40% of Americans elderly live only on Social Security. Yeah. It's their only source of income. Yeah. We thank Congresswoman Slaughter for joining us in this fight. All right. What do you do when the banks attack? Stand up! Fight back! When we fight, we win! 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 Stand up! Fight back! What do you do when the banks attack? Stand up! Fight back! What do you do when the banks attack? Stand up! Fight back! When you fight! Which side are you on, boys? Which side are you on? Which side are you on, boys? Which side are you on? Which side are you on, boys? Which side are you on? Which side are you on, boys? Which side are you on? Girls, which side are you on? But there's not enough.